Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Dream Classes with Darshan. Let me introduce myself. I am Darshan, studying B Data Science in SVC Bangalore. Our today's subject is Mathematics 1 for CSE Stream. Topic: First module, Differential Calculus. These topics are what is differential calculus, introduction to polar curves in polar coordinate system, polar curves in direct life, derivation on angle between radius vector and tangent, problem on finding angle of radius vector and a tangent, formula of angle between two polar curves or also known as angle of intersection. Problems on finding angle between two polar curves, introduction to polar pedal equation, or also known as PR equation, and polar curves using Python programming. We are going to display the Python output also. Let us go into the topic. Differential calculus. Then, what does the term differential calculus mean? Differential calculus is the differentiation of polar curves with respect to the polar coordinate system. Then, what is polar curves and polar coordinate system according to you? Let's know. Before going to the topic, let's know its origin. As you are into this field, you would be in better in basic mathematics foundations from 10th and PUC. We also know about the Cartesian coordinate system. Cartesian coordinate system is a way of locating points in a plane using two numbers called Cartesians. That measures the distance from the point to the two fixed square perpendicular lines called axes. The Cartesian coordinate system was invented by Reynolds Descartes in 17th century relating geometry and algebra. Coming to the polar curves coordinate system, in the another way, the locating points in a plane using a distance and an angle from the fixed point called polar and the fixed direction called as polar axis. The polar coordinate system was developed by the Jordan Saint Venice and Paul Cabaret in 17th century to study the circular and orbital motion. Polar curve is a shape that defines an angle, an equation involving the polar coordinates of a point polar curve. You are used for modeling phenomena that are in natural, natural center or the uh, Or the symmetry such as spirals, rows, and cardioids. Pole is usually identified with an uh, origin of a Cartesian coordinate system, and an angle is measured counterclockwise. From the positive x axis, the distance is called the radius and the angle is called as theta. A point in a polar coordinate system is written as r, theta, where r is the radius and the theta is the angle. As you can see here, point where you can name it anything as if, yeah, I am going to name it as. B. C here, where in the uh, Cartesian coordinate system, here P comma P of R comma theta, where R is the radius vector, theta is the uh, angle between the uh, initial line and the uh, radius vector is theta, and O is an origin, o, or called as pole, and the line L is called an initial line. 
polar curve let me take the laser polar curves are shapes that are defined by a function of radius x and the angle such as r is equals to f of theta for example a circle with a radius e and the center at the point can be described by an polar equation r is equals to e a spiral can be described by a polar equation r is equals to theta a rose curve can be described by a polar equation r is equals to e cos theta where a and n are the constants polar coordinates and polar curves can be useful for describing the situations where the distance and the angle for a fixed point and important such as navigation, astronomy, or physics. As you can see here, the polar coordinates are used in many ways to find the distance and the angle. They are they can also be created initially in uh, interesting and beautiful patterns that are harder and to achieve with Cartesian coordinate system. However, the polar coordinates and the polar curves are having some drawbacks such as imbibitivity, discontinuity, and this, uh, difficulty in finding the de uh, derivation and integration. Polar coordinate system and polar curve. Let me explain in a shot by explaining this figure. Let P be an any point. OP is equals to R. Theta be an angle between OP and OL in shell line. P has a new coordinates R comma theta called the polar coordinates. Here O is called as the pole and OL is called as the initial line. OP is called as the radius vector and R comma R of R is equals to F of theta is called as polar curve. Here I'm going to explain where the point P is equals to R, R comma theta. R is the radius vector explained here and the L OL is the initial line. Theta is the angle between R radius vector and the initial line where O is the pole. Let's go to the next slide. Polar curves and polar coordinates are used in various fields of education, including mathematics, physics, and engineering, and the navigation. In mathematics, the polar coordinates are used for describing curves that are exhibited symmetrically about the origin such as circles, ellipses, and quadrilaterals. In physics, polar coordinates are used to calculate the equations of motion of an object moving in the circle. The engineering the polar coordinates are used for describing the directional micro microphone pickup pattern. The navigation polar curves coordinates are used for pinpoint locations on the earth and the bearing are bearing are used to indicate direction although the polar curves and coordinates are not used in daily life they are used in various applications that are used daily for example, the GPS system in our smartphones use a polar coordinates to point, pinpoint our location on the Earth. In addition, the direction microphone in our smartphone uses the polar coordinates to pick up the sound from the special direction. I hope this helps. Come to the next slide. Relation between Cartesian and polar coordination system. Let's see the figure. The figure consists of a Cartesian and a polar coordination system in a seam where the point O 
is represented by origin in the Cartesian coordinate system and point O is represented as pole in the co uh, polar coordination system. Well, the Cartesian coordinate system consists of y axis and x axis where the polar coordination system consists of a radius vector and an initial line where the point is represented as p of x comma y in cartesian system and p of r comma theta in the polar coordination system the angle between the radius vector and the initial line is named as theta where the in cartesian product cartesian coordinate system y is the distance between point and a ox line where the distance from point to the oy line is x let us go to the next slide angle between radius vector and tangent let p of r comma theta be at any point on the curves curve r is equals to f of theta draw and tangent at p mark angle phi sorry psi with an initial line let phi be an angle between radius vector and the tangent psi is equals to theta plus phi we know that dy by dx is equals to slope of pt is equals to tan phi let's move to the next slide let us consider the relation between Cartesian coordinate system and polar coordination system. We will get r is equals to sorry x is equals to r cos theta and y is equals to r sin theta. Differentiating with respect to theta, we will get dx by d theta is equals to dr by d theta cos theta plus r of minus sin theta. Differentiating y is equals to r sin theta with respect to theta, we will get dy by d theta is equals to r cos theta plus sin theta dr by d theta simplifying the both equations we will get dx by d theta is equals to dr by d theta cos theta minus r sin theta dy by d theta is equals to r cos theta plus dr by d theta sin theta we are going to substitute in this equation to get dy by d theta dx so that we can cancel d theta and d theta to get dy by dx when we are going to substitute that we will get r cos theta plus dr by d theta sin theta dy by dx cos theta minus r sin theta going to the next Yeah, we are going to explain the figure so where the point P on the plane is near a P of R comma theta, where the car curve is R is equals to F of theta, where the R R is the radius vector, and theta is the angle between radius vector and the initial line, the tangent drawn from the point P. The initial line forms in two angles that are phi and psi. Let's go further. So, here we are going to divide by dr by d theta cos theta to all the term so that we will get r cos theta by dr by d theta cos theta plus dr by d theta sin theta all divided by dr by d theta sin theta all divided by dr by d theta cos theta divided by dr by d theta cos theta minus of r cos theta r sin theta by dr by d theta cos theta we will get before getting we will uh, cancel the common terms cos theta here dr by d theta and here the old term because they are seen and there is nothing to cancel going further we will get dy by d theta is equals to r d theta 
by dr plus tan theta divided by 1 minus r d theta dr tan theta. This is named as second equation. Here we are going to consider phi, phi is, sorry, psi is equals to theta plus phi. Applying tan on both sides, tan psi is equals to tan of theta plus phi. We know that tan of theta 1 plus theta 2 is equals to tan theta plus tan theta 2 by 1 minus tan theta and tan theta 2. So we are going to replace tan 1, tan theta 1 and tan theta 2 by theta and phi. So we are going to take, uh, get tan of psi is equals to tan theta plus tan phi by theta 1 minus tan theta theta tan phi. It's named as equation 3. By considering both the equations, by comparing, sorry, comparing both the equations, we are going to get As I said here, from taking 2 and 1 comparison, we are going to get tan phi is equals to r dot d theta by dr. We are going to reciprocal it to get quad phi is equals to 1 by r d dr by d theta. By using these two equations, we are going to solve some sums. Note, it's important. To solve a polar curve, take log on both sides and differentiate. To take log and differentiate, we should know some basic formulas that are log of m into n is equal to log m plus m log n. Log m by n is equal to log of m to minus log of n. Log of m to the power n is equal to n log m. Log b of a is equal to log a by b. Let's go further. Here are some formulas for differential formula and integration. Integration which we are going to get in further sums so that it's going to be a uh, reference. So go through it. Go into next slide. Going to next, here is a numerical to understand better. Find an angle between radius vector and the tangent for the following curve r is equals to a 1 minus cos theta. We are going to take log on both sides as I said before. By taking log, we are going to get log r is equals to log of a of 1 minus cos theta. By simplifying it, we are, we are going to multiply log on into a of 1 minus cos theta. We are going to get log of r is equal to log of a plus log 1 minus cos theta. By differentiating it, we are going to get 1 by r dr by d theta is equal to 0 plus 1 by 1 minus cos theta sin theta. Here, the differentiation of constants like a will be 0 and differentiation of cos we are going to get minus sign but here the term is with negative sign so it will be positive here. So simplifying it from the equation uh, from the uh, derivation we are go, uh, we will get cot phi is equal to 1, 1 by r dr by d theta so we are going to substitute cot phi here is equals to sine of 1 by cos theta. By applying the, we are going to apply your half angle formula to get the further, find the angle. 2, two sine theta, 2 sine theta by 2 minus cos theta by 2, we are going to get 2 sine square theta by 2, where we are going to cancel sine square and sine theta and 2 and 2 
to get cot phi is equals to cot theta by 2 where the cot and cot are cancelled let me cancel it for you we are going to get theta is equals to sorry phi is equals to theta by 2 here are some related sums go through it and solve so that you can be better in solving the polar curves and it it will help in following the further equations where r psi n1 r is equals to a of 1 plus cos theta and 2a by r is equals to 1 minus cos theta and r square cos 2 theta is equals to a square theta going further angle between two polar curves consider theta 1 and sorry phi 1 phi 2 b and two angles between radius vector and tangent that are accurate angles to be given so that the basic formula mod of phi 1 and phi 2 we are going to get angle of angle, angle of intersection for non expressive solutions where there is log or tan so we can go through this type of solutions where the formula is tan of mod of theta 1 by theta 2 theta 1 minus theta 2 is equals to tan phi 1 minus tan phi 2 by 1 minus 1 plus tan theta 2 by tan theta 1 for two curves intersection orthogonally we are going to get tan phi 1 dot tan phi 2 is equal to minus 1 keep sure that this formula expressive solution is an important one which we are going to solve further Find angle polar curve question is r is equals to a by 1 plus cos theta and r is equals to a of 1 minus cos theta. Here we are going to find the angle between two polar curves by using mod of phi 1 minus phi 2. When we cross multiply 1 plus cos theta and 1 minus cos theta towards the RHS, we are going to get r of 1 plus cos theta is equals to a and r of 1 minus cos theta is equals to a take log on both side log r plus log of 1 plus cos theta is equals to log of a log r plus log of 1 minus cos theta is equals to a if any queries refer the last uh, numerical which i have referred said about it differentiate with respect to theta 1 by r d, dr by d theta plus 1 by 1 plus cos theta hold uh, into minus sin theta is equals to a sorry is equals to 0 where the constant is 0 1 by r dr by d theta plus 1 by 1 plus 1 minus cos theta sin theta is equals to 0 where here the positive sign for cos we are going to get negative sign remember it and if it is a negative sign you are going to get positive sign here from the really uh, derivation we are going to convert into cot phi is plus minus of 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2 whole divided by 2 sin 2 cos square theta by 2 is equals to 0 cot phi plus sin square sin theta by 2 2 sin theta by 2 cot uh, sin theta by 2 all divided by 2 sin square theta by 2 is equals to 0 then we are going to simplify the terms to get cot phi minus tan theta by 2 where let me cancel it so that you can understand properly 
ER to part square, sorry, to sine square theta, to, to cos square theta and cos square theta get cancelled so that it uh, forms an tan theta by 2 where 2 and 2 also get cancelled and get, remains cot the uh, cot 5 minus tan theta by 2 is equals to 0 and cot 5 plus cot theta by 2 is equals to 0 we are going to further simplify it cot 5 is equals to tan theta by 2 by sending it to rhs to lhs we are going to convert tan theta tan theta by 2 to cot so that we are going to get cot pi by 2 minus theta by 2 so for uh, phi 1 is phi at uh, pi by 2 minus theta by 2 and for uh, going to the pi uh, phi 2 we are going to get uh, cot theta by 2 which we are going to send to the LHS the cot cot and get cancelled and the we are going to get phi is equals to minus theta by 2 by considering both the phi uh, phi's we are going to get angle of intersection the angle between two polar curves so mod of phi 1 and minus mod of phi 2 is equals to mod of minus pi by 2 minus pi by 2 plus pi by 2 where we are going to cancel cancel and get it mod of phi 1 minus phi, uh, phi 2 is equals to pi by 2 so that it is pi by 2 then it is orthogonal so we have to write a sentence to show it two curves intersect orthogonally let's go further there's another numerical r is equals to a log theta and r is equals to a log of theta take log on both sides and cross multiply this towards rhs log r is equals to log a plus log of log theta and log r, log r is equals to log a minus log of log theta sorry you are, you are going to use the log function which is m log m by n is equals to log of a by yeah, sorry log of m minus log of n remember that by differentiating we are going to get 1 by r dy by dx sorry dr by d dr by d, uh, d theta is equals to 0 plus 1 by log theta 1 by theta 1 by r dy by d theta d, uh, is equals to 0 minus 1 by log of theta by 1 by theta we finally we are going to get cot of phi 1 is equals to 1 by theta into log of theta cos phi 2 is equals to minus of 1 by theta log theta tan phi 1 is equals to log uh, theta log theta tan phi 2 minus theta log theta how did tan and tan came it's inverse of cot so that we are going to inverse to get since we are going to consider the equations given by the question to simplify it so r and r are common so we are going to equalitate it at a into log theta is equal to a into a by log theta we are going to mm, cancel a and a in the equation so that we are going to get we are going to cross multiply log theta towards the rhs so we are going to get log of square log theta square is equals to one where we are going to uh, root of the, uh, we are going to uh, send square towards the lhs so root of one is one by this 
log theta is equals to one and log uh, log of e t theta is equals to one. So by using the uh, formula given in the given and said by me in the uh, said by me in the previous slide previous slides check out so that you can get this formula theta is equals to e or e to the power one where e to the power one is e so theta is equals to e we are going to substitute theta in the equation one and two which are tan, uh, tan of phi one and tan of phi two we are going to get e and minus e so your log of e is one and log of e is one well minus we are going to get then e and minus e let's go further last when we are going to substitute by the uh, angle of intersection we are going to get e plus e by 1 plus e of minus e at last i have written a, a log uh, log function which were needed for you here so that uh, you can refer easily tan mod of uh, phi 1 minus tan uh, minus phi 2 is equal to 2e by 1 minus e square e to the power e to the power 2 so that the angle of intersection is equals to mod of phi 1 minus mod 2 phi 2 is equals to tan inverse of 2e by 1 minus e square going to further dealing with pedal equations or PR equations here we are going to derive it consider a polar curve r is equal to f of theta let p of r comma theta be any point on the curve draw and tangent at p let phi be an any ang angle between the radius vector and the tangent join and such way that angle omp is equal to 90 degree so that omp is equal to r right angle triangle see the figure so that you can understand this considering from the figure sine theta is equal to opposite by hypotenuse om by op sine phi is equal to p by r capital p by r r sine phi is equal to p name it as one equation number one we are going to consider one by uh, one by p is equals to one by r sine theta we are going to square on both side sps which is short form one by p square is equals to one by r square sine theta where we are going to get one by r square sine theta converted into its reciprocal cos cos x square theta cos cos x square phi sorry by I was saying theta is equals to 1 by r square where we are going 1 multiplied by 1 plus cot, cot square theta cot square phi where we are going to get cot 1 by cot phi, uh, cot square phi is equals to cos x square so they are converted it into 1 plus cot square theta phi So that the last equation we are going to get it is 1 by p square is equals to 1 by r square into 1 plus what we are going to substitute the relation which we are going to get from the radius vector and tangent 1 by r into dr by d theta whole square let's go further Uh, 
start some Python programming, which I have done on Polacos, so that you can go through it. Here they have taken x axis and the y axis and giving them the scatter points by taking the uh, one on on x axis and y on two axis two on y axis they are going to plot a point so let me show you see one and two from y axis so if there is a point let me show you second point seven seven from the y axis seven is not there you can take it the middle open and two is there two from the x axis you are going to get the point here so goes on and coming to next one import matlab pi pi plot as uh, plt yeah it helps to plot the graph make sure that here the uh, coordinates of x axis and y axis here they're going to uh, draw a line through the points so that they are used to plot them and the title should be my first pro, uh, graph so that they have used um, mat, uh, python python matlab and library library to get this as in the top and they have used uh, x lab uh, x label to get uh, to use the label on the x axis and y axis so you can refer through it by solving it you can see it in the your further go through this program and refer it because it's one of the largest program which i am dealt with and let's go to the next slide So coming to the last, it's thank you for all of you to designing this video, which is helpful for you or may not, but it's a helpful content so that be subscribe and like so that let me get and motivated and do more videos on this. Thank you one and all.